the 2022 ABIA Educator of the Year individual, sponsored by Timely, is Mika. <laughs> Welcome back to today's video, and that's not right. Welcome back to another video. It has been a little while since I have vlogged, but this weekend is a very special weekend because we are en route to Beauty Expo Australia, and it's going to be an epic weekend. We are actually currently road tripping down to Sydney now. Pray for me. <laughs> We've only been in the car for a while not even three hours yet and there's always already been arguments and tears and all the fun things that come with road trips now i'm like anxious to talk in front of you because you're a <laughs> wit <laughs> talking like an influencer <laughs> but i wanted to take you along and show you the excitement of the weekend so we are due to get to sydney this afternoon at about three o'clock depending on what stops we've got and the first thing we are doing is we're going to the Australian Beauty Industry Council party tonight which is really exciting and it'll be a great opportunity to connect with everybody and network and really kick off an epic weekend. If you haven't been to Beauty Expo before, it hasn't happened for three years I think they were saying and it's honestly like Skin Therapist Disneyland. That's there's no other way I can explain it except for that. <laughs> the last time I went, it was just so much fun. I did so much shopping, connected with so many people, learned so many amazing things from all of the educators and industry experts. And this year I'm going back again because I'm actually doing their social media for the weekend, which is really exciting. So I'm taking over their stories, which I'm sure I'm gonna plaster all over my socials. And by the time you're watching this, you probably would have seen all the excitement as well. And I'm also speaking at Beauty Expo for the first time. And then Saturday night, catching up with my best friend and her partner who live in Sydney and we're off to dinner. Sunday, we'll be at Beauty Expo again. And then Sunday night, I'm going to the Australian Beauty Industry Awards because I am nominated for Educator of the Year. So lots of exciting things to show you this weekend. It's gonna be really fun. Um, but for now, you can just enjoy our drive on the road and <laughs> enjoy the scenery which is going to be us for the next six and a half to seven hours. So we are like two hours away from Sydney, which is super exciting. I didn't want to film all the stops that we did today because we've actually taken more stops than I thought. I thought we'll have a quick morning tea stop and then we'll also have a lunch stop and then we'll get there. But every time we drive past the survey, we're like, do we want a treat? Which sometimes happens when you're road tripping. So it is what it is, but it is early. We are going to get to Sydney at about four o'clock, which is really exciting. We'll freshen up so that I can get ready because tonight we've got the Australian Beauty Industry Council uh, party. So it's going to be a really good time and we haven't killed each other yet, which, you know, I'm really proud of. Come close. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you at the party tonight. We have finally made it to Sydney. Thank Christ for that. Driving in Sydney, city traffic. Let's not even talk about that, but we are here. Check out the view of the room. Oops, let me turn this around. Um, so we literally there tomorrow at ICC Sydney for Beauty Expo on Saturday and Sunday. So really nice, short, close walk. There's lots of restaurants, Starbucks, Maccas, everything we need close by. And this cute view of the, I don't know, I think it's called the Chinese Peace Garden, which let me tell you, 
definitely need some of that after this car ride today but I'm going to go and have a shower now and get ready it's about five o'clock now I've actually got the ABIC party at seven o'clock so that's the Australian Beauty Industry Council they're doing a networking party from seven till nine tonight at Cafe Del Mar but Cam and I are gonna go to we just spotted our favorite restaurant just around the corner there Harajuku Gyozo so we're going to go a little bit early have some dinner and drinks so that you know I can calm down any nerves prior to going to the party and <laughs> you know I haven't been to an industry event in probably two years maybe even longer and since COVID obviously I've launched my business I've grown my audience so much I've met so many people in my community online but not in person and I feel like tonight I'm going to meet a lot of people who follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be connecting with a lot of industry friends, a lot of networking. And I'm actually quite introverted now, <laughs> believe it or not. And I think that's just from working from home and being at home for two years and totally becoming a recluse. So a little bit nervous, but I know it'll be fine once I get there. But I smell right now and I feel like I've been wearing the same clothes since 4.30 this morning. Well, not I feel like because I actually have. So I'm going to get ready, I'll show you my outfit afterwards, and then we'll try and take you to the party. We might look like douchebags carrying a gimbal around though. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so this is... No, you can't actually see it there. That's okay. I'm just going to sit in the mirror here. Okay, so this is the outfit for tonight. The dress is from Chic. I am wearing my Steve Madden glittery pink boots. I feel like... Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, a butt with pink shoes. I'm so excited. I'm gonna pair up my little Louis Vuitton clutch. And I am feeling very pink, very on brand, very skin queen. Looking forward to it. Don't think I'm gonna bring the camera, but I'll make sure to hit little snippets on my phone throughout the night. But I just wanna be present, connect with everybody, network, and have some fun. It is day one of Beauty Expo. I just realized that we didn't actually film anything last night at the Australian Beauty Industry Council party. Probably just as well too because when I got there, I knew that it was going to be one of those parties where I run into everybody and say hello to everybody. But the second that I had like just said hello to somebody else, somebody else came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. And that was pretty much the duration of two hours so even on the way out I said to Kim let's say hello to a couple more people on the way out and then sneak out and I think even doing that I said hello to like three people and two other people tapped me on the shoulder so it was such a great idea for ABIC to do a party right before Beauty Expo it was such a great icebreaker my nerves are completely gone, thank goodness. But Cam and I are just about to head out. I think it's about eight o'clock right now. We're gonna go and have a quick bite for breakfast and then we're gonna go get our speakers badges. And I'm actually taking over the Beauty Expo Australia Instagram this weekend, which is really exciting. So I'm logged into their Instagram and we are going to film the opening of the expo and get into it. I'm wearing all pink today. Should I actually show you my outfit? A nice Khloe Kardashian inspired number so if you, you know, probably have seen me by the time this has gone out but I wanted to make sure that I stood out and I was really noticeable over the weekend but really excited we'll take you along the way where we can otherwise we'll see you there gonna be a good weekend.
freaking epic this year. It's so cool. We haven't had an industry event in like three years because of bloody COVID. So it's so good to see so many people here. We've got our work cut out for us. We're going to visit everybody. I've already gone and visited Estimates. That's the openings. We're going to go. <laughs> Are you filming it already? <laughs> We're just laughing at all the Insta husbands yeah. here. <laughs> He's got a backpack. He's got the good I mean, all the boys here at Beauty Expo and all the hubbies are really just here for the girls, holding the bags, holding the snacks and taking all of the photos. We have had such a good morning so far. What have we gone and seen? We went and did the opening of Beauty Expo. We saw Tamara Reed and Maria, which is Miss Universe 2022 speak, which was amazing. And then we've gone and visited some of the equipment. We've seen some skin scanners. We saw a device that like you get into and it like helps you to lose fat and spread out your toxins and like you're ex exercising without actually exercising. We've just gone and seen Jess Brigginshaw do the cosmetic tattooing demonstration. Now we're gonna go and stroke the pink fuzzy wall down the end here. We haven't even gotten through half of it yet. There is still so much to see and do and we've only really scratched the surface. So we'll keep trying and checking in where we can and just enjoy the journey. I'm Leone from Maduro, my favorite LED machine. Now, do you know how many years everybody's like, what do you think of the Enduro home LED? Yes. You know that I'm obsessed with it. Yes. But tell everybody why I love it so much. Listen, it is just everything that you need for your skincare. So if you've got a breakout, pigmentation, anti-aging, preventative aging, when beautiful, like our gorgeous skin queen here. You know, whatever it is that you're trying to target, as a season change, as your stress levels change, as life changes, you've got a device that does it all. And really, that's what it is. And if you're a beauty expert, come and visit the stand this weekend. to the business beauty couches now where they are doing business coaching this weekend which is freaking epic i've got a couple of my industry friends there so i'm gonna go surprise them and say hello and get into it oh, hi. Hi. Just having a quick lunch break. We've done so much content for the Beauty Expo Instagram today. Seen a couple of friends and I am going on to speak in about 40 minutes. So I was like, let's just take five now, have a little break, step off to the side, heat up our lunch. We're in the speakers room, which is awesome. Something that they've organized for all the speakers at Beauty Expo. There's just tea, coffee, and we've stored all of our snacks and lunch here. Of course, I had to bring pineapple lump, so <laughs> that is what I am snacking on. Need to recharge and eat my sugars. <laughs> the addiction is real, people. But anyway, we're just chilling in the speaker's room. My best friend is coming to watch me speak. I got her a sneaky pass, and I was like, do you want to come and watch me present at Beauty Expo? And she lives here in Sydney, and she knows how big this event is for me because for years, I'd always come and stay at hers over Beauty Expo weekend and I would go off to Expo throughout the day and do all the cool events and things like that. And so now it's like come full circle because when I first started as a skin therapist in the industry, you know, I'd always heard about Beauty Expo and it always felt like so out of reach and you know, you had to travel to Sydney, pay for accommodation. You know, you'd obviously want to have spending money get invited to all of the events, which can be a little bit exclusive sometimes. And you know, at $25 an hour, whereas you're earning as a therapist, I was like, I just don't think I can do this right now. And when I started working at Ultraceuticals as an educator, they would always have a big stand here. And so when they were like, who wants to volunteer to work at Beauty Expert? I put my hand up straight away. And really from there, you know, seeing the industry collectively and seeing all of the stands, all the amazing educators, all the amazing events that happen, it really just gives Gives you such an appreciation for the amazing industry that you work in it's so inspiring there's so many successful women and business owners so many amazing educators who are so knowledgeable and i was like do you know what 
I want to do that one day. Like that's what I want to do. And so Beauty Expo is always really special for me because I feel like once upon a time I was like, oh no, that's so out of reach. I'm going to be out of place. Like it's a little bit unattainable. And now when I come to Beauty Expo, like I just know everybody here. I have such great connections with everybody. I get to catch up with everybody. You know, I get to see all the new products. I get to go and watch all the educators and go and see all the amazing things that's happening, get invited to all the events. And now this year I'm actually presenting. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. And then when we go back into Expo, we're going to go and say hello to a couple more friends. And then I think afterwards, I think we need a drink. <laughs> They're doing pink gins at the bar and I'm so down for that. And then we're only gonna do a little bit of content this afternoon and I half wanna leave early today because tomorrow's gonna be a massive day. We are going to be back here again and going to do more content. I actually wanna go shopping tomorrow. Um, there are lots of things that I wanted to get. I really wanna get a ring light, but I actually don't think there is anybody selling ring lights this year, which is weird because usually there would be a Luvo light and Luvo store would be here and they're like the best of the best, but um, can't see them here this year, but haven't been around to everything yet. Definitely going to get some makeup, definitely going to be getting a blow dry brush because I went and had a demo and I was like, yes, I need this in my life. And then um, I'll be sneaking out early at about two or three o'clock to go and get my makeup done ahead of the Australian Beauty Industry Awards, which is going to be a freaking big night as well. So we'll try to bring the camera so we can document that. But it's been an epic day so far. There hasn't been an industry event in like three years. So it's so nice that we can all come together. And I, I really think there's, oh, actually, I think they're telling us when we came in that there's been 5,000 tickets that have been sold for this weekend, which is just insane. So. Really excited to see who comes and speak, uh, comes to my talk, bit nervous, but I'll check in with you later. laughing because these fucking hotel pillows are like bricks and that's sometimes the worst part about traveling almost feel like I've got a bit of a social hangover this morning so yesterday was freaking epic it was so amazing so humbling to see so many people come and see me speak it was interesting because <laughs> the speakers before me weren't completely packed out and then I was sitting there waiting at the back to get like mic'd up so that I can go on stage and I was like, oh my gosh, what if nobody comes to my talk? Neck minute. <laughs> so many of you were there, which was so cool. And afterwards, oh, everybody wanted to get like a little selfie and ask lots of questions, which just warmed my heart because I'm all about community and I'm so proud of the community that I've built and so to be able to meet so many of you that are in my community was just the flipping best and then afterwards I was like we need to exit stage left I need a bevy and my best friend came my best friend lives here in Sydney it's interesting because whenever I would come to Beauty Expo in the past I'd always come and stay with her in Sydney and then Jot off for the weekend and now she actually got to come and see me talk and actually experience expo which was cool we went and had a couple of drinks afterwards and then freshened up and we went out for dinner just the four of us cam shelly and her partner 
So didn't get to film much. I thought we were going to have a little bit of a wild night, but we ended up coming home early because we've got to reserve our energy for day two. And also there is the Australian Beauty Industry Awards tonight, which I'm nominated for Educator of the Year. So, I mean, I might cry if I don't get it. <laughs> but I am very excited for this because it's my first time going to the awards. So I am actually just lying here in my bathroom. I've just had some Nurofen. Because I've got like a bit of a social hangover slash maybe a little bit of a hangover from the sugar and the alcohol. Even though we didn't drink too much. And I'm going to have an up and go sustenance. And I'm actually going to put on a face mask. Because I'm getting my makeup done this afternoon at 3 o'clock. And I want to make sure that my skin's super hydrated for that. So take you along with you as much as we can today to get my makeup done and then to the ABS tonight. We have made it back to Beauty Expo. A bit of a late start this morning. We had Starbucks and we had to walk and get some medication and Ventolin. Dressed in all pink today, very on brand. I'll make sure that we get lots of B-roll for you today so that you can see what's going on in the Expo. We just watched a plasma pen a demo which is really cool because I actually know the trainer Nancy quite well we've done a few collaborations before but I've never actually seen what she does so it was really cool to see it in action we're gonna go and do a little bit of a walk around and get some more demos the Beauty Expo Australia Instagram and then as I said we're gonna sneak out a bit early because I'm gonna get my makeup done and get all ready for the aviers forgot to finish blogging at Beauty Expo. I know you've seen so much footage from there. I actually ended up getting called onto one of the panels. So there was a social media panel again this afternoon with three epic business owners, one that owns a social media agency, one that owns a massive clinic out in regional New South Wales, and another one that has a lashes and lash lift business. And she's actually famous on TikTok apparently. I need to go look her up. But they had somebody pull out last minute to actually host the panel and ask all the questions. So I was like they called me in and I was like yes of course I will do that so I did that and then I literally forgot to have lunch in the midst of it I'm only just realizing now that I didn't have lunch and then I was like I've got to go I've got to get my makeup done so pretty much like took the headphones off they asked I'm like does anybody have any questions and I think maybe one person put their hand up but I was like no okay well you can always reach out to us on social media and like took my headset off slowly walked off and then I like had to run <laughs> and I was already late to my makeup so I've gotten my makeup done because tonight is the Australian Beauty Industry Awards. I've just ordered some truffle fries to the room because I am freaking starving and I don't think dinner will come out until like 7 30 8 o'clock tonight so the awards night tonight um it's for the Australian Beauty Industry so everybody in the industry who's pretty much entered into the awards for either salon on the year, salon three rooms of more or more of the year, you know therapists of the year there's so many categories, I couldn't even rattle them off to you right now, but everybody is going tonight. So I, I imagine there'll be a little bit of like meet and greet and mingle first, and then the awards will happen, and then a little bit of partying afterwards. I'm up for educator of the year, so watch this space. I don't know if we'll bring the camera tonight, but I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I've gotta have a shower, just gotta freshen up my hair a little bit, and I'll show you my outfit, and then yeah, we'll see how we go. It's not, I don't really feel like like it'll be good obviously content but to bring a camera with a gimbal to the awards might be a little bit awkward so we'll see if i don't i'll try and get a little bit of a snippet on my iphone so you can see what it's all about i'm all ready this is my dress excuse the toilet in the background just trying to get the best lighting in this hotel room because it's not really that good maybe i'll go over here get out of the get out of the mirror there we go so I'm doing this silky pink metallic number hair out. It's backless. I bought this dress from one of my dance teachers who actually has her own clothing label and it's called Malachi. And I'm just gonna put on some nice pink slides afterwards. I'm just debating whether or not to wear a jumper because it is gonna be cold, but we're not gonna be outside for too long. We're literally gonna be getting outside to get into the Uber and then from the Uber to I think it's at Star Casino. I should probably check that right now. And then just from there getting out. I think the rest of the night it'll be pretty inside and cozy. But of course I wanted to do something pink. 
and on brand and something a little bit different to your traditional ball gowns once again to turn heads got some dangly earrings and i don't think i'm gonna go much jewelry or any jewelry at all i think i want to keep it really minimalistic but yes this is the fit <laughs> ABIA Educator of the Year individual sponsored by Timely is Nancy <laughs> chance to vlog today because last night after the ABS we came home at about 12 o'clock in the morning didn't win educator of the year but the person that I lost to if I even want to call it losing because I still am a winner in my eyes I literally am so happy for her if I was going to lose to anyone it would have been Nancy from the Dermal and Laser Institute so really thrilled for her but after such a mammoth weekend, last night we came home and by the time we showered and went to bed, it was after midnight and you know, there's just been a lot of social events with like drinking and eating and talking. So my social battery was really low and I actually went in last night to the ABR Awards with my friend Kara. She was staying at the same hotel as us and she was kind of like, are you guys going to stay or go? And I was like, if you go, I'll go, <laughs> which was nice. So we got some sneaky photos on the way out and then we came home and we went to bed and today literally just vegged out and did nothing. We just stayed in the hotel bed for half the day and then we just went out for dinner, which was really nice. Um, we had our last date night, I guess you can call it. We were going to stay in Sydney until Wednesday and then drive home on the Wednesday, but I'm actually so exhausted and kind of over staying in a hotel room. So we're gonna go home at first thing tomorrow morning at about five o'clock and then have just the day at home on Wednesday. We've got some business things that we're going to do. I'm bringing on a podcast manager. We've got to do some money meetings and some budget forecasting for the business, which I feel like I've neglected. <laughs> I feel like I haven't even looked at what's happening in my business over the past weekend. So it feels weird to take so much time off. But that is it for the night. I was like, shit, I haven't vlogged. So I'm gonna get on and tell you guys what the past 24 hours has held. It's been such an awesome weekend. Oh my gosh, so many great memories. Just so much connection, just so many great opportunities. Met so many people from my community. Um, just, I can't wait to do it all again next year. I actually really wanna go and do it in some of the conferences in America. So watch this space. I feel like I won't know anybody there though. <laughs> I mean, this is like one big reunion, one big catch up, which was lovely. And I did a heap of brain dumping of lots of ideas this morning. So really looking forward to implementing them all and just come back with lots of renewed, fresh energy, which is going to be the best. So I don't know if we'll vlog much tomorrow in the car because you guys saw us on the way up, but we'll definitely vlog the doggos when we get back home so we can show you how excited they are to see us. Good morning! We're back in the car on the way to the Gold Coast. We were gonna stay an extra day, but we're just kind of over being like in a hotel room and living out of a suitcase and our place is really small. So we were just like, we're living on top of each other. Let's get back home to the doggos. So we left this morning really early and we've just made our first pit stop. I'm still in awe of this weekend. Like. Just thinking about all the great connections that I've made in my business over really the past 18 months, you know, through my podcast, because I have so many people that jump on my podcast. I do a lot of Instagram lives, obviously. I've collaborated with a lot of people. And just to get to meet them all in person this weekend, it was like 
we already know each other we like we watch each other all the time we've spoken to each other but to finally meet each other in person was just so lovely I felt like you know I was turning my head every two seconds being like oh my gosh hi it's so nice to meet you how are you are you having a good weekend and I can't wait to do it all again next year you know so we have about seven hours left of driving we're actually supposed to have a meeting with a new podcast manager today and we've just pushed it all back to tomorrow we thought we'll have like a good night sleep in our own bed see the dogs and then tomorrow we're gonna have a money meeting and do some forecasting of my budget and we'll get back into it i hope you've enjoyed this vlog i'm not sure how much longer this is going to go for but I love doing sit down videos where I educate and I definitely need to get back into the swing of that. I'm actually going to be getting Cam to do my editing for my YouTube, which will be nice. So all I have to do is shop and do the creative part of it. But I'll, I'll put a little bit of a vlog in here and there so you can get a sneak peek into my life. All right, Cam's coming back now, so about to hit the road. I am mummy and daddy home now. Oh, it's always the best part when you come home from being away and you get to see your doggos. Oh, did you miss us? We actually snuck up on them when we got home and that was so funny. They barked at us so much. Well, you did. Hey, you good guy dog, aren't you? Yes. Hey, that's the best. Oh. I am home. We made it. The drive home, it wasn't too bad. We literally listened to podcasts the whole time. I think I'm going to end this vlog here because... Literally, I'm going back to work tomorrow. Got lots of planning and stuff to do, lots of forecasting, lots of cool things coming into business, so nothing too exciting. And I'm cooking dinner. I just saw the camera and I was like, I better sign off now. But I hope that you enjoyed this vlog so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. And let me know if you went to Beauty Expo this weekend. Maybe we hung out. Maybe we got a photo together. Maybe I got a big hug from you. But I hope to see you in the next vlog. And thank you.